Downtimes is an acronym tool used to classify the fat, or as it is known in Lean Six Sigma, waste stored in your company. Removing waste performs this magic. It increases process velocities by removing slow. Decreases cost because employees stop spending time performing activities that don't add value. And third, increases quality by doing less unneeded alterations on a product or service. Some fat is strategic. Some you don't do anything about and some you remove to increase your margins, decrease your operational costs, and increase the velocity throughout your company. I will start with an overview of your company system. A business or company system is comprised of value streams. A value stream is an aggregation of all the processes needed to provide a service to a customer or deliver internal functionality. A value stream focuses the business on the value add created. Value streams consist of processes. Processes consist of activities. Most activities do not add value. Since most activities do not add value, that is what downtimes makes your business aware of. This is the time to do a quick overview of downtimes. Downtimes is an acronym that highlights waste. Whether you are a manufacturer, running business, a government, a nonprofit, military, or in the medical field, your employee's knowledge of downtimes is the first step towards excellence. First, I will go through every waste category. Then later in the presentation, repeat the process in much more detail. Defects occur in any industry, as does overproduction. Waiting refers to time when the lack of a part or service is causing your unproductivity. Non-utilized talent represents the whole company full of people that are capable of making massive improvements to the way your business is run. Transportation is a cost that does not add value and kills time efficiency. Inventory can be a hidden cost, but must also be looked at strategically. Moving to do something does not add value, nor does extra processing. Services is a category that I've added myself because there is a service cost to storing inventory. Our first discussion is about defects. After each category of waste, I have placed two numbers. These come from identified waste in four industries, manufacturing, business, government, and hospitals. The first number is the average number of waste identified in the four industries, and the next number is the range of the number of wastes. Defects are insidious, as Crosby stated in his seminal book, The Cost of Quality. It negatively impacts sales, production costs, warranty costs, and reputation. Whether it's a blemished production part, a mistake on an insurance claim, or a hospital-acquired infection, a defect has a real measurable cost. This is a list of the different types of defects. How can Toyota put together a car made up of 30,000 parts and hardly have a defect? Let's discuss overproduction next. An analogy of mass production would be a company with many divisions that did not talk within themselves. Every division just went as fast as it could producing and storing excess parts. Mass production is massive overproduction. If you are producing to a forecast instead of producing to an order, you are inherently overproducing. Multiple interactions to get something done represents wasted effort. Every meeting should have a time limit, a goal, and a facilitator. When the goal is met, the meeting is over. One area of excess communication that everyone can consider is email. How many times do you delete email without even looking at it? Your time is wasted. Any unexpected downtime, such as a fire drill, waiting for someone to finish something before you can start, or a stopped assembly line, represents non-value-added activities or something a customer would not pay for. Setup may be necessary, but it does not add value. Any time spent waiting for the next process to finish is waste. If you cannot move forward because you're waiting for a response or waiting for signatures that are not really needed, that is a waste. If the signee does not read or process the document, then why are they signing? This is a huge missed opportunity. Toyota's continuous improvement program generates about one idea every month by every person in the company. It is not a generic idea, but an idea that is directed towards a company-defined vision or challenge. Lack of teamwork and poor communication are signs of an opportunity squandered. If individuals are not operating at the high standard of your company, then it's possible that lack of training is the reason. Every person in a company is an expert at what they do. If you just ask, they will tell you how to improve what they do. Some of the different waste categories overlap. For instance, when you're waiting for delivery, it could be transportation, it is also waiting. It can also be thought of as any sort of movement of supplies, any supplies. Forklifts represent 100% waste. They are also necessary. Brexit is a failure for international manufacturers in Great Britain because it adds time to the movement of goods. Either the customer will pay or the manufacturer will eat the cost to stay competitive. Either way, it is a negative business impact. Mailing may be a waste, but is necessary or maybe not. DocuSign is a company that addresses that waste. Inventory is the only waste that I consider strategic. Toyota manages their manufacturing plants to have two hours of incoming supplies as inventory. Whether it's two hours or two days, that decision is strategic. Inventory can also represent strategic buffers. In a Toyota plant, if an assembly line worker detects a defect, they pull a cord that stops the assembly line. Toyota strategically places inventory in the assembly line such that the stop only impacts a small part of the assembly line. That is strategic. Just in time means that supplies show up just when they need to. 
It is based on a pool methodology and works whether you are building cars or deploying pencils. There is an opportunity to cut costs whenever you have inventory just sitting around. When you build a forecast, you are producing a product for a buyer that doesn't exist. A successful company that builds to order will also work heavily to smooth customer orders. Mass production is a 100-year-old manufacturing concept that has been replaced with lean production. Lean production is a fully integrated production capability that is designed to build a product based on an order. I was in a doctor's office when the individual that took the credit card payment had to walk across a busy aisle to use the credit card machine. The machine should have been sitting right next to her. Whether you are reaching for something or walking to get something, that motion is a waste and does not add value. Often repetitive motion can be minimized and made more efficient. If you've ever been to a medical office where multiple people ask you for the same information, you've run across excess processing. Do you really accomplish your business goal by requiring five signatures instead of maybe two? Reports or documentation can be very valuable, but if they are not used, they are just a waste. An audit may have value that it verifies your process is correct, but that is a costly way to check. There should be a gold standard for data. It does not have to be all in the same place, but data must have unique value. The services apply mostly to the storage of inventory. Whether it is a cabinet of office tools or parts stacking up on the manufacturing floor, you are still heating and cooling the parts, keeping them clean, managing the inventory, and providing costly real estate. All of that represents waste. Waste is removed strategically. There must be a financial gain associated with removing it that overwhelms the cost of removing it. Removing waste focuses all employees' eyes on what it takes to deliver value. Inventory can have a strategic value. However, the goal of removing it all is noble. You can use the Toyota Production System and Lean Six Sigma as a model to move towards excellence. I am Jim Fitzgerald, a Lean Six Sigma Master Black Belt, an expert on how you can build your Toyota Production System, and a proponent of using innovation. Contact me to begin this journey. This last slide contains the directions on how you can build your production system just like Toyota. This applies to manufacturers, businesses, and hospitals. Click on the presentation for more information.